Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, just thought I'd come on this morning because uh, last week um, after watching a crochet video by a lovely lady called Tracy, her YouTube channel is called Crochet Rocks. So after watching her video um, I decided to pop along to the store called The Range and um, Luckily, it's in walking distance from where I live, so um, I got my husband to come with me just for a, a nice stroll. Anyway, so I thought I'd show you what I bought and a special whip that I'm making. So, first of all, as you can see, I decided to buy um, some pom pom makers. I'm not very good at it. Um, it's just sort of not something I've sort of taken to to making this yet, but it's just I've, I've tried it different ways, so I thought I might as well try it with these. So I'll we'll have a go at making some pom poms. Um, next, we have this, which is a rotary cutter um, for cutting fabric. I have got some fat quarters somewhere, which I've got for another project in mind. Um, there's a lady called Ella. Her YouTube channel is called No Catchy Name. And um, I've been watching her for a while. And she's done some lovely crocheting work with using some fat quarters and using other fabrics. And she mentioned about um, a rotary cutter. So that's where um, I got that from. Next, I bought some lovely um, metallic ribbon, which I thought was very Christmassy. Uh, I then, um, oh, that one's upside down, sorry about that. I then bought two of these. They are sugar and cream cotton, and these two are called Moon Dance. They're white, purple, a light blue and I think that's a dark blue beautiful lovely cotton um, I've used it before um, and it is lovely to work with so I bought two of those and I got these as well and that one's upside down sorry about that so I bought these two sugar and cream and these ones are called mistletoe so these are white, red, and two different shades of green there. Gorgeous. Absolutely. These, like I say, this is lovely cotton to use as well. So um, I do have something in mind to use with these, um, which I'll show you at some other time. So um, as we were looking around the yarn section, um, my husband said to me, uh, Oh, I like these. And I was like, okay. So, I asked him to pick a couple for me. So, this is what my husband spotted. Two little Karen Cupcakes by Yarn Inspirations. And they've got a grey pom-pom and a purple pom-pom. Now, I got my husband to choose these out for me, so I was really chuffed. Um, I think he's chosen two really cute ones, um, lovely colours. My husband's not really one for colours. He seems to think white and black are the best colours in the world. I am trying to encourage him to realise that there's more colours in that in that paint box if he really looks. So, um, so yeah, so he's chosen two lovely ones, um, which I will make um, some hats from. So uh, I thought you'd like to see those. And here is my special whip. Now, I am using Karen Simply Soft Party. Now this is white and sparkly. You can just about see the sparkle in it. It is quite, it is quite, um, subtle in the sparkle but it is absolutely lovely it is soft yarn to use it is really lovely it works up well and it doesn't split it's really really nice to use 
So I'm using that with Karen Simply Soft Party in the red. So a bit of fluff there. And that's also sparkly as well. You can see the sparkle there, but it just doesn't do it justice on this camera, unfortunately. So you can see it where I move my finger. There is some sparkle there. So I got two balls of the red, two balls of the white, and oops, oops. So here is. My whip that I'm working on. So uh, as you can see, I couldn't wait to get start using that yarn that I bought at the range. And if I just turn this slightly a bit more for you, as you can see, I'm making a Christmas stocking. So I have found a fantastic YouTube video um, by a lovely lady called Yolanda Soto Lopez. Um, and her channel is All Crafts Channel, so I shall um, put the description in the below for you um, if you wish to follow it yourself. Um, I found I've tried doing stockings before, some little ones, and I just I don't know. I just can't seem to get the hang of it. So um, I've been searching and searching. I've been wanting to do some stockings for my um, Christmas stall that I'm doing. So, um, and I thought, and, and lo and behold, I found this YouTube video. Um, it's actually done in three parts, her video, by Yolanda. It's very good. She explains it very well. And as you can see, I have managed to do the heel part, which was one part of it that I just, I just couldn't get my head around doing it. And she explains it so well. She's made the heel so easy to do and um, so I was really chuffed this week that that's what I've, I've managed to do. So for the rest of today, it's only just gone 10 past 11, um, I'm going to finish it off um, and see how I go with that. Um, as you can see from the red ball of, of yarn, um, I've still got quite a bit of it left to be fair. So. Um, I've just got to make this next section here about another five inches long and then I do the toe and then it should be done. Um, I'm just so chuffed with it. Um, like I say, uh, Yolanda makes the pattern so easy to understand. So I just thought um, you'd like it. I'm actually using a four and a half millimetre hook so um and there we have it so um i hope you've enjoyed my video um please like and subscribe to my channel um actually i do have one question uh when buying new yarn do you a use it straight away or b do you go for yarn that you've already got so I'd just like to see where, see what other people like to do. You know, do they like to use their yarn straight away, you know, if they're itching to use it, um, if they've just bought it, do they use it straight away or do they go for something that they've already, that they've already had on the go um, or bought before? Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.